Good morning and welcome to the weekly analysis. We have one, two, nine items on the list for today. So let's start. We have D. Weekly, so let's go to the daily. Okay, so we're in the daily, on the daily, um, price wicked, swept this, these lows, which was um, liquidity equal lows here. You have liquidity here. Okay. Price has swept those lows. On the daily, we have, so this is our current high, and this is our current low. Okay. So price broke structure. Price pulled back. Started dropping back to the downside, broke this low, but it hasn't broken the swing low. So, um, we have a bearish order block. So, price could pull back into based on the daily, this area of um, supply. Price could pull back into this area of supply, which would be a sell zone, and then continue selling with the bearish order block. Or price can um or price. because now we have a daily bearish order block also. <clears throat> so price may just go back to, this is the high, that's the low. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I still feel like price may pull up into this zone here and then um, continue selling down. Or we broke highs, broke highs, broke highs. If we go to the four hour, we do have this swing high that was broken. So let's see. Price could have this is the area of demand. Here, which price tapped into and then started going up. So on a four hour, it's in an order block. So I would either need to see it break this low or a pullback to continue to the downside or um, start breaking these highs, this order, this area here maybe tap into the zone to either sell down or start breaking this high to continue buying up. So that's where we are with AUD CAD. AUD USD, we have a weekly bearish order block. Price is bearish. <clears throat> Um, price is bearish in the daily. 
So we have a little, uh, this was wicked. Some may consider this a break of structure. Uh oh. Okay, so we have um, this tie was swept and then continued to the downside. Um, the fact that it broke through this level of demand. My guess is that it's going to continue to the downside. Um, So, again, we have a level of demand zone here. The price may pull back into this zone a little more. Um, and then possibly buy up or continue. So we have on the daily, go to the weekly right quick. So we have a demand zone here. Already in that zone. Oh, this demand zone was already tapped into. Sorry. So this was already tapped into, pushed up, pulling back. This demand zone was tapped into. So I would wait for a price to break out this little zone here, either to the bottom. And if it does consolidate and it goes to the bottom first, it may just be um, grabbing liquidity to then continue to the upside. <clears throat> okay. Um, CAD JPY, we have a weekly bullish order block. We have a little bit of, tiny bit of imbalance left for price to tap into. So price could come to this, fill this imbalance and then react to the downside. Um, the price could pull back to the 23.6, the 50%. 618, maybe even the 78 and Tap into the next 27 or the way CAD JPY. Um, or price broke these lows. And you look at the bigger picture. So price wick past these highs here. So price we pass these highs here. If we're looking at the bigger picture, price broke these lows here. <clears throat> so we could say price could possibly be selling to the downside. Price tapped into the 88, reacted. 
Well, this low, this low um, may have wick past that low. So price could be, I remember it tapped into the 88. Price is currently at the 78 of this down move. So price again could be tapping. And just let me zoom in. Price is currently at the 78 of this possible down move. Either it just filled the imbalance to continue buying up or from the major move this of these lows being broken, this could be pulled, like we said, pull back to the 88, then react it. This could be the 78 to continue to the downside. I would definitely be looking for this imbalance. To be filled. So as of right now, we have a bullish order block and a buy-in market. Right now, this is, has been weeks of buying up. Okay, so price could pull back and then continue buying up into this zone. Based on the daily, I pulled back and then gave an impulse move for the day. Okay, so we have, we're probably looking for a, another little pullback again for a continuation. We even have a Supply zone, imbalance, order block on the daily here. So from where price is currently, sixty-five pips, or it can continue to one hundred and seventy-five, seventy-six pips. Okay. I can either tap in here, start breaking to the downside, or continue to the upside. GBP CAD. We have a weekly um I guess that's a tied order block. Uh, da, 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 da. So if we go to look at the big picture, we had a Supply zone here, price tapped into. This is your current swing low, or if you want to put it here, you can, but for me, this was the last push down and then this push up. So that's the last swing low. This is the last swing high. Okay. So anything between here and here, you would trade from zone to zone. And I'm just going to say from here, by zone. And I think this is this is, looks like it's probably a monthly order block. Yeah. So you have this order block here, this monthly order block here. So price can come anywhere in this zone and continue buying to the top, to the top side. <clears throat> um, so if we go down to the daily,
Rise has broken the slow. Okay. So my guess is price, the way these two candles are, it's probably going to continue dropping or it may give a little pullback and then continue dropping to this zone. Once price gets to this zone, um, I would say just be patient to see if it's going to break this low or if it's going to start creating breaks of structure to the top side to continue buying up. If that's the case, then you have this low this high. So price can price could consolidate in here, but because price is bullish, I guess this price will pull back and then continue buying up. So let's see what's over here. Go to the weekly. You have imbalance here. And you have you have imbalance there, you have this high. So price could just tap into the neck to the negative twenty seven. Um, maybe it wants to sweep the high, maybe it doesn't, or tap into the negative twenty seven to start selling down. Well, that's for SC for GBP CAD, GBP USD. There is a weekly bearish order block. Okay, so this was the last swing low that got broken. That got broken. So now you're looking for okay. now you're looking for price to pull back. likely to come and fill this imbalance. There's a daily order block here, the wicks of this order block. The price could come and tap into here and then start buying back up to continue selling down. That's the possibility. Okay. Um, let's go down to the four hour. The four hour. So currently, you have this bottom here. And you have this here. 
So price could consolidate in the zone. Um, if you consider this wick as your break of structure, um, you may be considering to buy this up. I would, I would be patient and wait for price to either continue or break this zone, tap, pull back and go down to this zone, 20 or so more pips. I would wait for it to provide a little more structure. Because currently right now, um, this broke, this broke here. So this is your high, this is your high, this is your low. I would definitely wait for price to either close above here for a pullback and then continue buying to the upside. That's what I see for GBP USD, NZD USD. We have a weekly bearish order block. Price did not break these lows. And then price broke this high. Broke this weekly going high. <clears throat> okay. So my guess is price is pulling back to possibly the 78 maybe even closer to the 88. Let's go to the daily. Here is an area of demand that has not been tapped into yet. Based on the daily. So price is likely going to react from here if I would definitely wait for a break of structure to the top side or continue looking for sales to the downside. We had a break. Got your balance here. Price tapped, but the price looked like it may be flattening out. We shall see, but there's a because we have a break, we're still currently selling. Because we have lower lows and lower highs, we're still we still should be looking for sales. So I would look for a break of the trend, break of the high, and then continue buying to the top side. Let's see. Overall price is bearish. And there's still some more liquidity here. Here, down here. Oh, that tapped into it. That group. So, wait for confirmation for the buy because this is very bearish. It's been very, very, been very bearish. And then this is bearish. So I would wait for a confirmation before going in for a buy. Um, USDCAD. 
USDCAD, we have a weekly bullish order block. We are currently in a supply zone. We're currently up, well, at the wick, so this order block. And weekly order block here. Let's see what the monthly is given. Okay. <coughs> so from a higher time frame standpoint, price has just been really consolidating from zone to zone. From here to here. I'm just gonna mark up here. From here to here. So price pushed up, pulled back, closed the imbalance, and gave um a momentum push or a monthly order block to the top side. So my guess is price is going to continue buying up at least to this zone. So we're talking about 400 pips from where price is currently, possibly 400 pips from where price is currently to um, this is on here. Now let's go to the weekly. Because price week passed here, my guess is that price is gonna respect and continue through at least up to this zone, maybe a pullback for a continuation. Let's go to the daily. It's on a daily. Uh, we're back here. You had a push up, a pull back. and or a push up a correction and likely a continuation and if price does pull back or want to pull back some more then we're talking from this zone The last swing low is push up. So it could pull back here and then continue to the top side. Let's give it the four hour. So we had this last low here, pushed up. Hold back. So price could tap into this zone here to fill this imbalance to then fill down to the zone and then start buying back up. Um, that's what I see for USD CAD. USD JPY. There was a weekly bullish order block. Um, so what I see is that price broke structure, broke structure here, broke structure here. Let me just put this here. 
up here, up here. Okay, tap into this area of demand and start it buying back up. So, reading what I see. Price is at the 78, possibly going up to the 88. So this is the current low. Oops. This is the current low. And this is the current high. Okay, so if price pulls back, it can pull back into this zone and then start buying back up. Go to the four hour. Came up to, um, this was the high. Of these lows push back up into this order block. Um, look, it looks like this is currently liquidity, these equal highs here. So um, price could grab liquidity and then start selling down, at least to this zone here. So from zone to zone, we're talking approximately. Um, 340 pips, 300 plus pips. So definitely if you get a um, liquidity grab and, and candles close or order blocks to the downside, breaking some lows, 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 um, I would be looking for sales. <clears throat> like I said, at least down to, even if it just comes down to this zone here, we're talking from here to here. So this area of demand is 238 pips. Okay. Last but not least, um, we have silver, which is a weekly... Mm, I guess this was a week considered a weekly bearish order block. So based on based on what I see, this is a key level here. Okay. Price. Broke structure, broke structure, tapped into this demand zone, sold down, or, or corrected itself, and then broke structure again. Pulled back, didn't break this low, so, and gave a bullish order block, and then another correction tap into this area of demand. So my guess is price is probably gonna buy up, but you, you would definitely have to wait for confirmation. There's an area of supply up here. Um, I would definitely wait for confirmation but this is the current going low. This is the current um, swing high. So price broke structure. You got a pullback, got a correction. To the 618. So my guess is price is going to at least buy up to the negative 27 or even the 618.
or beyond, which is, let me put this here. Oh, that's in line with the imbalance that's here. The imbalance that is here. This is the institutional candle, the last green candle, the last up candle before the down move. So I could really just come in between this zone here. So that's what I would be looking to possibly buy up to. Um, disclaimer, I don't trade fundamentals, so I don't know what the Dixie is doing. Um, but from what I see on a technical trading, what I see, um, there was a break of structure. This was the last swing. Price pulled back to my trend line, pulled back to the 618, started breaking structure to the top side. So I would be continuing to look for buy to the top side. Of course, if price breaks my trend line, and starts breaking this lows here, this these lows or this con this will be considered a key level because it tapped and it tapped. So if price breaks these lows, breaks my trend line, then I would be looking for sales. So for now, I would be looking for buys, and my my current buy would be from here. You have a weekly. Um, this could, I guess this could be considered a, is that 1400 pips for the week? Um, 143, that's 143. Um, I guess this could be considered a Easy money strategy candle because there's very little pullback on this. Seven pips. So let's go down to the daily. Let's narrow our zone. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go down to the four hour. <coughs> So based on the four hour, there was imbalance here. That price filled. There's also imbalance down here. I'm just gonna put this, I'm just gonna fill all that imbalance. And also this is the last, this is the institutional candle which is um, by zone, which was the last down candle before price started moving up. <laughs> so I would be looking for price to come into this zone. Which would... be pulling back to almost the 618 and then continue buying up. Now, of course, if price breaks these lows, then we will be looking for sales. That's my thought on silver. All right. Um, that concludes the weekly analysis and wishing everybody a happy trading next week.